Hello and welcome into Devils in Detail here live at Sun Devil Football Stadium ahead of Arizona State against Oregon. I am Hunter Robinson, joined alongside Killian McClatchy and Zach McHale. So Killian, I'll go ahead and start with you. So Arizona State right now, they're sitting at one and two. Uh, two games against San Diego State and Texas Tech, where really what happened is the offense just didn't get going soon enough. Uh, do you have any expectations coming into tonight? I can tell you this, the expectation is a lot of points from both of these teams. I do think the Sun Devils offense will get that figured out and start up a little bit sooner, but I think it's going to be because they have to start sooner. This Oregon team is going to come out, they're going to put up a lot of points. Justin Herbert, Royce Freeman, they're going to run the ball down the throat of the Sun Devils defense. It's going to be up to Manny Wilkins and the rest of this team, especially Nikhil Harry. We saw what they did last week, they got Harry the ball a lot last week. It needs to be more of the same this week if they want to stay in this game for long enough to have a chance to win it. And then, Zach, he just talked about it. Oregon's offense is, you know, they're going to put up points. So what are you expecting from Oregon's offense, and then what are you expecting uh, for Arizona State's defense? Like Killian said, a lot of points. There's really no beating around the bush with this one. Oregon's put up 42 first half points each of the last two weeks. For Arizona State's defense, anything short of that, honestly, I'd say is a success at this point in the season. All right, and then Killian, you know, Arizona State's offense, we talked about it. They're going to have to match the points that Oregon puts up. Manny Wilkins has actually performed pretty well through, you know, the first three games of this season. How, how do you think that he's going to perform tonight, his first game, Pac-12 play? I've been very impressed with Wilkins, like you said. He's got he's one of the few quarterbacks in the country that has thrown three touchdowns or more with no interceptions while being under pressure. He's going to face a lot of it. This Oregon Ducks team, they get to the quarterback and they like to get to him a lot. They're in the top ten in the country, if I am correct, about with sacks. So it is going to be difficult for this line, but it's going to come down to Wilkins and whether he can get the ball out fast, and he's going to have to take these quick drops, and he's going to be smart with the football to give the Sun Devils a chance to win this one. All right, and then finally, Zach, it does sound like DeMario Richard will be, you know, playing in this game. So what is that two-prong attack going to be able to do that uh, with Kalen Balaj and DeMario Richard? Gives you a nice, this, the two of them, Balaj and Richard, give you a really nice balance of power and speed. Now, having not had an effective Richard until last week for the first time all season, it showed, it really showed as the Sun Devils could not get much going. Once they stopped Balaj in the Sparky formation, he didn't have really much to do on the field. But now you incorporate uh, Richard, excuse me, and you have this powerful back who is starting to learn how to just go north-south. He's not doing the east-west dance that we've seen in years past, and he's really starting to look like the back we saw two years ago when he rushed for 1,000 yards. All right, Killian, so your prediction for tonight, Arizona State horse hosting a ranked Oregon. How do you see this one playing out? You know, I did come in very positive, you know, trying to spin some positive notes for the Sun Devils. But I do think this Oregon offense is too much. I'm going to pick Oregon 59-34. to 34. There are going to be a lot of points. It's going to be an exciting game, but I think Oregon does pull away at the end. All right, and Zach? Uh, I'm going to go a little bit shorter. I, I'm going to say that the ASU ends the 42-point half, first half streak for Oregon. But I think the final score, we have 56-28 to 28 in favor of the Ducks. All right, so there you have it, Arizona State versus a ranked Oregon happening tonight. Make sure that you stay with Devils in Detail for all your ASU football coverage. For Killian McClatchy and Zach McHale, I'm Hunter Robinson saying we'll see you post game.